They show up in mythology. An example is the Greek god Hephaestus building a giant bronze robot in his forge. This robot was called Talos. Talos was gifted to a Greek king called Minos or Europa to guard the island of Crete. He deterred intruders from entering the island by hurling large rocks at ships. The story goes that Jason and the Argonauts, along with the assistance of a witch called Medea, managed to defeat Talos. So I'm not sure how the ancient Greeks imagined up a robot, as they would not have understood technology like that back then. And I'll also mention that an AI shows up in mythology, Greek mythology again. The story of Pandora's box, which I'm sure you're familiar with. What you may not know is that Pandora herself was actually an android. I'll quote this now from a source and provide a link in the description. And I quote, Having been commissioned by all-powerful Zeus and designed to his cruel specifications by Hephaestus, the god of invention, Pandora was a lifelike android created to look like a bewitching maiden. Her purpose was to entrap mortals as a manifestation of evil, evil hidden in beauty. End quote. When I found out about Talos and Pandora, it was quite a revelation to me at the time. These stories are thousands of years old, before this technology was around. Are they true or partly true? Because it was passed down from generation to generation. At first I thought it was just AI going back into the past, into our mythology. But now I understand it to mean that higher dimensional entities, maybe fourth dimensional, pretended to be gods or deities and they utilized their advanced technology to interfere with human affairs. They can see above time, so perhaps they're able to time travel into history like this. Mythology actually has a lot of wisdom contained within it. I'm able to extract information from it to help me with my theories sometimes. It helps if you can understand symbolism and allegory. 